So here's a baggie of uh, supports. These are the supports that I bought from Demu. They're actually pretty good quality. All aluminum. Let me show you real quick. I think I have one here. Yep, there you are. And um, yeah, I was actually pretty impressed when I got when I got these because I thought, you know what, there might there might be uh, they might be made out of plastic or some type of composite or anything like that, but no, they're actually uh, all aluminum. Everything here that you see is aluminum, 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 and it has a little magnet here at the back, back, the bottom. So, no, it stays there. So, yeah, these are the ones that uh, you can buy also on AliExpress, it's the same vendor. Uh, vendor or vendors whatever uh, good quality stuff I recommend them and if you live in uh, in Scandinavia or if you send your graphics card to me to be repaired and it's one of uh, these monsters here I will be uh, you will be receiving one of these for free I don't charge for the supports I buy them because I think that if you're gonna have a car like this and it lands on my desk and I repair it I feel it is only right for me to add this and give you this because this is the reason why your card is here to begin with so um, they don't cost much it's like 30 bucks for those you know for this whole uh, bag and it I don't know it's like 15 of them <laughs> so uh, yeah I give one of this for free to my customers with graphics cards but, you know, they're having problems like this one here. You can see the PCI uh, slot here. Uh, this is actually a 5080. Um, yeah, that that's. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't look like anything cracked, right? Like like there's something falling or anything like that. But you can obviously tell that there's a bump there. Now, um, I don't know how this happened. I have no idea. Uh, the memory chips are a bit far from the damage area. Typically, what you end up what what you have uh, with a lot of graphics cards, the memory chips are around this area here. So. Uh, you know pretty close to the PCI slot, but in the in the case of this 5080 the memory chips are like whew, Way up in there uh, What we're gonna be doing today though, we're gonna be taking this apart and Just do a quick fun tear down video. We're gonna take some um, Thermal pad measurements and also we're gonna be looking at the power delivery so Yeah, stay tuned Okay, so let's go ahead and take this thing apart. And let's see what we got here. We got um, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six screws. And I think I can get away with using this thing here. So yeah, let's do that. Yep, it works perfectly fine with this. Now my understanding is that um, the shroud on this card it's also like the uh, 5060 Ti uh, video that I did you know, a couple of, maybe, I don't know, <clears throat> some days ago. Um, where the, sh the, the shroud is not attached to the actual uh, heat sink. It's just, you know, like, yeah, hovering over it or however you want to put that. Now, I, I think that that's actually preferable. Because if a fan goes bad, then it makes it easier for the end user to replace a fan and not having to remove the whole heat sink off the, off the board. So, yeah, I dig that. I have no issue, no quarrel with that. But um, let's see here. Yep, it's already coming off. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. look what we got here. And this is from, where did this come from? It looks like it's a from a fan blade, right? 
but <sighs> what where which one they're all there I mean they, you know they're all intact I don't see the damage here I mean I do see some damage here in this area here but I don't know, you know what, I think this is from maybe a different card, not actually from this video card. That's why I tell people, you know, when you ship the, when you ship these things, make sure you add enough protection because otherwise the uh, male, male people, they're going to play American football with your graphics cards or your packages, whatever. So yeah, you got two more here. Let's see, uh, hmm, you got more here. So it looks like you got a ton of screws here. I think we need to take off, yeah, we need to take this two off here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think that this card has much life left in it because it has been maltreated so badly. Um, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, one thing I do dig here is that Asus finally uh, changed these connectors. You know, they started doing this for, for actually it's been years, where you don't have to just yank or you know worry about yanking the connector and crack and breaking the cables here. Uh, they started including these type of connectors here where you can just pinch them and they come off, which is nice. Um, I don't see any damage here on the fans. I don't know if you guys see something that I don't see But uh, yeah, the fence seem intact and by the way uh, This is not plastic <laughs> This feels like I don't think it's magnesium No, I think that this is actually just aluminum and um, Man, this is heavy They could have gotten away with just making this out of a good plastic composite uh, to keep the weight down <sighs> okay whatever so yeah anyway so here is your heat sink and uh, this heat sink is actually attached to the board by these screws here and these two here and there is nothing else that I can see on this side holding this in place. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart. Okay. Um, I hope that NVIDIA did not cheap out in the, with the power delivery on these cards because it would be disappointing. You know what? A lot of, a lot of manufacturers, and this is important, uh, I have to mention this before we even look under the hood that a lot of manufacturers uh, build expensive graphics cards like these here and add a mediocre power delivery, you know, like, like mediocre, <clears throat> excuse me, MOSFETs or PWM controllers, which tend to go out prematurely, you know, due to usage or overclocking or just the car just being used, period. They just either explode or burn or whatever. Um, <clears throat> what I hate seeing is Infineon PWN controllers with, let's say, rich tech, rich tech uh, MOSFETs or Vichy or Alpha and Omega. I don't, I don't like that combination because even though you have a good PWM controller like a MPS or Infineon, which is top notch, top quality, it really doesn't do much if your power drivers are mediocre. Um, I might be wrong on that one. I might be wrong because, uh, well, you know what? Let's just uh, stop mumbling. Um, let's take this thing apart. But um, I pray that I am wrong and that actually that having uh, the board having a good PWM controller could potentially save those MOSFETs, you know, before they start actually going bad. But anyway, what are we talking about here? As far as thermal pads, let me take a look here. I'll let you know. Okay, so these are 1.5. Well, 
These are 1.5 millimeter pads. And as far as the heatsink goes, well, uh, we do have a vapor chamber here. It looks like, yep, telltale tell, tell sign here, which is nice. I believe that's what that is, yeah. And as far as the VRM pads, they're also 1.5, this here, 1.5. And on the other, the other side of the VRM, they're also using 1.5. Here, this thing, this thing focusing, yeah, no. Anyway, so 1.5 it is all around as far as thermal pads is concerned. Uh, they are using phase change material here from the factory. Let's take a look at the uh, actual card. Okay, so this is the, um, yeah, okay. And I can already tell, oh my gosh, okay, whatever. Okay, so the controller that they're using here, it's uh, MPS controller. So that's your PWM controller there. But your faces are made by Vishé. And these are 50 amp power drivers. Oh man, okay. Let me look at them under the microscope real quick. All right guys, so what we're looking at here is the uh, controller, the PWM, PWM controller. This is the uh, MPS 29816. And as far as the faces are concerned, there you are. So these are the uh, Vichy SIC654, and these are rated to 50 amp power stages. Okay, so let's find out for sure what size these pads are. Let's go here. And yeah, these are, so without squeezing them here, these are two millimeter pads, yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that there. Can you? Yeah, no, okay. Well. Um, so these are two millimeter pads. That's what we got here, here, and here as well. They're all the same size. They're all the same size. So yeah, two millimeter pads in the back. Um, which, yeah. And it looks like they are using good quality thermal pads. They're not the leaky type like Gigabyte is using in some of their cards. I don't know why they're doing that. I don't know what got, what got into them. And here we have the back of the card. So back of the PCB. This is what it looks like. Um, this has a dual BIOS. You can see the switch there. Yeah, so that's where your BIOS is or BIOS. Yeah, what that stuff is. And yeah, so uh, 20 face VRM, uh, 50 amp rated uh, MOSFETs, MPS controller, PWM controller, MP29816. Uh, I've done a little bit of research on this controller here and it is pretty decent. Uh, it's actually, yeah, pretty good, pretty good controller. Uh, but that's it, guys. That was just a tear down of the Asus Astral. Astral, Astral, whatever, uh, 5080 graphics card. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was informative. Hopefully I, I didn't uh, fail to mention anything. I think we got the VRM memory, thermal pad size. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.